Hey there! In my previous videos, I criticized the ZV-E1 camera for not having a separate menu for photos and videos, but I have some exciting news to share with you today. I was wrong. It turned out that you can actually have separate video and photo menus on the Sony ZV-E1. Here's how to do it. Go to the main menu and select Setup. Then choose Operation Customize under number 3. In this menu, you will see different settings for still and movie modes. By default, all of the items are unchecked, so make sure to select the ones that you want to separate. I will select them all except for the white balance. I think you probably don't need to separate the white balance. Now, when you switch between video and photo modes, you will have separate menus with different settings. For example, in video mode, you will have S-Log3 and ISO 640, while in photo mode, you can have separated menu with HLG2 and ISO 100. This is a game changer for anyone who wants to streamline their workflow and save time when switching between photo and video modes. No more scrolling through a long menu to find the settings you need. Now you can have separate menus with customized settings for each mode, because different picture profiles and different gammas have the different base ISOs, so you will need to change the aperture and shutter speed accordingly. I hope this tip helps you get the most out of your Sony ZV-E1 camera. Let me know in the comments if you have tried it out and how it improved your experience. I'll see you next time.